how you doing folks? Papa Joe here. I uh, still on my way home. Ran out of hours. 245 miles from the house. Mama, I'll be home tomorrow. <coughs> I had a uh, phone conversation the other day. Old boy wanted me to make a video about political correctness. Give my views on it. Imagine that. Told him I didn't know about that. I've thought about it a little bit today driving down the road. Always remember. Never forgot. My son. Well, I can't reach my Bible. I ain't allowed to carry my guns. You know what I'm trying to tell you? I'm not the politically correct type, folks. I believe in God. I believe He's my Savior. I support our military, past, future, and present. I love my country. If I seen somebody urinating or stomping on my flag, I'd go to jail because I'd whoop their ass. If I'd try. Uh, all their race baiting, I don't buy into it. All of their class warfare, don't buy into it. All the, uh, you hurt my feelings, I'm offended. Put your big boy panties on. I don't buy into it. Men using the women's bathroom? No. I don't buy into none of that stuff. I am not a politically correct person. I'm sorry, folks. If you didn't already know that about me, I'd just let you know. There's a fly that's going to learn about being truck correct. Uh, I am so old school and so south that... I have a hard time not calling women darling and honey. And if you don't understand Southern folks, that is not being a sexualist or whatever the politically correct word is. In the South, we consider that a term of endearment. And it's a compliment. Now, of course, anything said is how it is received and preceded. Yeah, I know a couple of fancy words. Most of us Southern folk, when we call a lady honey or darling, it's due respect. Uh, I have to be careful at the places I go to work and I literally ask them, like my female dispatcher, I literally asked her within the first phone call, now are you going to get offended at me calling you darling and honey? She says, I'm from Oklahoma, I grew up here in that. You ain't gonna bother me at all. Now we do have one lady that does not appreciate that. And I do my best not to call her that. I'll be right back. He's driving me crazy. Uh, luckily for me, unlucky for him, luckily for me, I do okay but it slips and she happens to be a little bit high up in the anarchy and she ain't shot me and she ain't fired me so uh, I'm sure she realizes I'm making an effort and being that she is a southern girl Oklahoma uh, I'm sure she realizes how hard it is on some of us not to do it and I'm sure she also realizes that it is a term of endearment. It ain't to be slandered or, or taken in any bad way whatsoever. Like I said, she don't like it, but she understands it. So, you know, I, I, I don't do politically correct people. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. No, I'm really not. Uh, 
I'm not ashamed of my God. I'm not ashamed of my country. I'm not ashamed of the military. I'm not ashamed of my service time. I'm not ashamed of my sons or my uncles or any of the other people that have served in the military. Uh, I'm old school enough that I think if you don't like our country, you ought to get the hell out. And they say that ain't politically correct. Well, I done told you, I ain't politically correct. Uh, if you think that standing on our flag and walking on our flag and burning it and all that is some kind of freedom of speech, no, I think you're just being an ass. A disrespectful ass to the country that's protecting you to give you the right to be an ass. And yeah, I know you don't, you're not used to hearing me talk like this, are you? Well, it's me. And it's a very touchy subject. Our country is going to hell in a handbasket, and it's on the fast track, fast lane. It's going there quick. It is uh, in dire need of an overhaul. I do not like either political party, Democrats or Republicans. I think they're all liars and thieves. Uh, I think that we should kick them all out and fire them and start all over from scratch. I think we should put in term limits so that they cannot become a, 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 a career politician. I think the most of them are lawyers just so that they can confuse regular folks with all this fancy jargon. I think they ought to go and write the laws and the nonsense and language that ordinary people use. Not a bunch of 25 cent words that nobody understands and those that say they do, they can interpret it in so many ways to make it twist and bend like a pretzel. Oh, that ain't what it means. It means this. No, no, someone else says it means this. Really? How about plain old American English? Cut and dry. How about y'all getting out of D.C. and getting out of here making a real living? Y'all ain't got no clue about us. You are not in touch with the real man. It's Sanders, uh, Trump, uh, Clinton. None of them have got a clue what you and I go through every day. Not a clue. Now, they might have some people that tell them it ain't the same. I can tell you all day about how to drive this truck and back it up. Now, come do it. It ain't the same as getting out here and doing it. You can't do it just from watching a video or from, from listening to me. They ain't got a clue. No, folks, if you're looking for the politically correct world, this ain't it. Not my channel, not my life. So, and I'm sure in this politically correct world, I offended somebody. Darn. That really bothers me. Not. So, uh, me compadre that asked me to make this, I made it. Probably ain't quite what you thought it was going to be. But it's honest. It's one thing y'all count on for me is I'm going to be honest with you. Hey, God bless you. Remember, God loves you and so do I. Y'all be safe out there. Good night.